Hello, this is Nick from Bimpure. In this video, I will show you how to build a dummy schedule. That is a schedule where the rows and the columns are not linked to actual Revit information and elements. So uh, let's get started. First, I will go to the schedule tool, select schedules quantities, and then I must pick a category that I'm not going to use very much. For example, if you're an, uh, an architect, maybe you will select something like uh, analytical surfaces or analytical space, or it could be zone equipment or something along those lines. And then you must make sure that you schedule the keys and then just give a name. For example, it, can, it could be number of uh, occupants. And I can type the same thing for the key name over here. And then by default, you will notice that this schedule is empty. And now you must create a new parameter for each one. So this will create a new project parameter that is going to be added to the project, but only for this specific category of analytical spaces. So it shouldn't add too much clutter to your project. So uh, let's say in this, um, in this case, the first one is going to be called the room and make sure to select the text uh, data type. Let's have another one that we're going to call number of occupants, uh, make it text as well. And then you could have um, in the data type a multi-line text, which will make it easier if you have multiple lines of text. So in this case, we'll add, we'll just call it description. And that should be good. All right, so just add as many parameters as you want columns in your dummy schedule. By default, your schedule would look like this. So you can always zoom in by holding control and using the mouse wheel. And now we will click over here and select insert data row like this. And you need to insert as many data rows as you want to have rows inside of your dummy schedule. So for example, in here, I could type in basement and here it's, it's gonna be level one. So uh, la let's add all these levels. All right, and now for the number of occupants, I can type in whatever number I have here based on some code requirements. Of course, you can type in whatever you want. And this here is a multi-text. So if you want to edit it, you would need, you must click on um, the ellipsis symbol over here. And this is a description and then you type in enter. Nice information. So this using a multi-text, multi-line text makes it easier to edit. And uh, that's it. So if I go and have a look at my schedule, it is right here and I can just drop it uh, like this. And final thing, if you want to hide the key name, you can double click on the schedule, go to formatting, select key name and click on hidden field. Uh, and if I go back to the sheet, you can see uh, that it is gone now. Shout out to Ryan Shock, who gave me the tip on how to create this kind of dummy schedule. If you want to create something similar, but working with Excel, PyRivet includes a feature called Create Schedule from CSV that is right here. So PyRivet is a free plugin. I'll put in the link in the description if you're not familiar with it. Uh, the downside of using this technique is that you must pre-create all the parameters in advance. So in this case, this is uh, the file that we've saved in the CSV format. So first we need to create the room, number of occupants and description parameters for the category that we're going to pick. Uh, to save a little bit of time because I'm lazy, I'm going to use PyRivet, which has the great param manager tool. So I'm going to open that. Uh, click three times on to add a new parameter. And uh, we have room number of occupants and description. So this is going to be room. This is going to be number of occupants. And this is going to be a description. I'm going to go to Description should be, let's put it text for now. And now I must select the categories. In this case, I will use, let's use analytical members. That should be fine and click on apply. And now I can use, uh, well, first you must ensure that you save this Excel file in the CSV format. When you do save as, you can see the CSV option in here. And back inside of Revit, I will go to PyRevit use this drop down, create schedule from CSV and pick this CSV file. And just make sure that I'm using the correct categories in which I've created the new project parameters, which is analytical members. So I select it and it's done. If I have a look at my schedule, I can see that I have, uh, where is it? The book number one. So it should be this one, I'm guessing. Let's open a sheet and try to place it in there. 
there we go. So you can see that the information that I had in Excel has been created automatically inside of Revit. So it's a way if you have lots of this can be a good workaround. Just make sure that you create all these parameters in advance. If you enjoyed this video, check out the BibPure membership. It includes a lot of good stuff for Revit users. First, our collection of core Revit courses, including basics for beginners designed to create gorgeous presentation documents with Revit, manage for BIM managers and coordinators, and heroic families if you want to develop awesome families. Then we have mini courses with various AC tech and BIM experts about landscapes, culture and technology, and about creating a custom Revit toolbar. We have a collection of downloadable files such as our pro templates, the doors collection, the windows collection, uh, Dynamo scripts, and our pamphlet collections of PDF guides. We also have live events that are exclusive to members on topics such as ACC bridge, content catalog, and you can always watch the replays of the past events on a wide variety of topics. As you can see here, we constantly add new updates to the membership. To subscribe, go to bimpure.com.